When then, newly appointed Simmons president, accompanied by local businessman Charlie Johnson, visited David Jones Sr., Dr. Kevin Cosby informed him of his new appointment and praised the school as a shining example poised to meet the needs of students, kids from Louisville's West End. Dr. Cosby went on sharing his vision and then presented a request to Jones that would require a measure of hope and faith. Although the visit did not make international headlines, in retrospect, it was one of the most important decisions ever made with respect to impacting African-American achievement in Kentucky. The meeting ended with two resolutions. One of Dr. Cosby moving the school from its present status to become a fully accredited institution of higher learning with the full liberal arts degree program and also one of David Jones Sr. A donation for $1 million. And in doing so, he did more than just write a check. He wrote history. The 13th president of Simmons College of Kentucky kept his promise. And under his visionary direction, Simmons College of Kentucky was granted accreditation by the Association of Biblical Higher Education in 2014. And in 2015, it was officially designated as the nation's 107th HBCU. The visionary gesture of Jones Sr. represents a prime opportunity to focus on what we know about philanthropic inclusion and to move the discussion beyond ideological and partisan debates. This is rather crucial, given the data of two categories, demographics and dollars, located in one of the nation's most economically impoverished neighborhoods. The presence of Simmons will be an economic lift to the entire community. Historically, HBCUs have provided a stable and nurturing environment for those most at risk of not entering or completing college. And nearly half of the enrollment at Simmons College are first-generation college students. For more than 150 years, HBCUs have been providing diverse learning environments from students to faculty to administration, ensuring every student's pathway to success in HBCU tuition rates average almost 30% less than comparable institutions. Recognized in 2019 as the most affordable HBCU in the nation, Simmons has become the envy of neighboring cities, not fortunate to have such a gem. And while students across America have accumulated $1.3 trillion in college loans, Simmons students graduate with no student debt, which could dramatically narrow the racial wealth gap. Given all this data, there is no better time for an honest discussion about philanthropic inclusion. While HBCUs are in need of corporate donors, financial gifts to schools like Simmons is not charity. It's an investment. In 2005, David Jones Sr. gave in faith and hope. In 2020, your decision doesn't take either. Comparably, there is no greater return on investment like an investment at Simmons College. A commitment accompanied by a list of guarantees. Just to mention a few, Simmons has one of the lower student-teacher ratios in the state, which virtually guarantees that students will get the attention and support they need to reach their highest potential. Secondly, the affordability aspect alone is attracting students from across the nation to attend Simmons College. And finally, there are guaranteed federal dollars coming to our city that will increase as our enrollment increases. Now, given their proven track record of influencing the academic success of African Americans, which directly impacts the success of the entire city, now more than ever, greater investment is needed in institutions like Simmons College of Kentucky.